What's up viewers and welcome to another episode of Cheers Reviews. I'm your host Jimmy and today we are having another PJ shootout. For those who've been following the channel may have seen my PJ shootout between the Fender Player Series Mustang Bass and the Squire Classic Vibe Jaguar Bass. And if you haven't seen it, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. So in the red corner, we have the Yamaha BB234 Broad Bass. And in the blue corner, we have the Ibanez TMB 100 Talman Bass. Jumping into specs, we've got an Alder body on the Yamaha and a Poplar body on the Ibanez. Both have a solid maple neck with a rosewood fretboard on the Yamaha and a maple fretboard on the Ibanez. Both bases come in at the same scale length of 34 inches and although they both have a PJ pickup configuration, the way that they're controlled is quite different. The Yamaha's ceramic pickups are controlled by a fairly standard two volume and one tone dial configuration. This is where each pickup has its own dedicated volume dial and an overall tone dial. The Ibanez Dynamics pickups are supported by an active two band EQ, which is controlled by a concentric dial closest to the bridge. The other concentric dial allows you to blend between the two pickups and also has a master volume on the top. Finally, the Yamaha Broadbass has a retail price of $619 and the Ibanez has a retail price of $549 Aussie dollar dues. Now, I've been lucky enough to review both of these bases, and to be honest, I've been quite impressed with both of them, so I'm really keen to see which one comes out on top. Round one, feel. Both of these bases are made fairly well, and interestingly enough, both come from the same country of origin, Indonesia, from different factories, of course. The positive feature that both of these bases share is that they're both very comfortable sitting on your lap or strapped to your body. They're weighted very well and do not have any neck dive. One negative that they both share, on the other hand, is that they both have quite sharp fret edges from the factory. And I've mentioned it before, but it's one of my pet peeves when I buy a brand new base and it's got sharp fret edges because the average person doesn't have the means to roll fret edges at home. Well, at least I don't anyway. Not a deal breaker, but worth mentioning. The biggest difference that I found between the two bases is the feel of the neck. Although they're both unfinished necks, the feel of the Yamaha is so much smoother, whereas the Ibanez feels very dry and almost rough, which might get better over time, but out of the box, it's a little bit uncomfortable. So for this round, it's a clear win for the Yamaha Broad Base. Round two. Versatility. All right, so we all know that the PJ pickup configuration is one of the most versatile arrangements that you can get. But as we spoke earlier, there's a few key differences between the two. So the Yamaha Broadbass has a simple volume, volume, tone configuration, which is quite standard for basses that have two pickups. So once again, each pickup has its own volume dial and there's an overall tone dial to control both the pickups. Now, the Ibanez has got a bit more going on. Using the concentric dial, which is closest to the bridge, you have full control of the two band active EQ, where the top controls the treble and the bottom controls the bass. Turning it fully clockwise, you get a boost. Turning it fully anti-clockwise, you get a cut. And there's a handy little bump in the middle to know when you're flat. And the dial closest to the neck allows you to blend between the two pickups as well as an overall master volume. Now, it's important to note that both of these basses still have a heap of versatility, but based on that handy two band EQ on the Ibanez, it snagged the win for this round. Round three, sound. Without much further ado, let's see how they sound.
Alright, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Now, I'm sure that we can all agree that both of these bases sound pretty good. Actually, really good. The Ibanez Talman has an impressive amount of tonal options and capability, but honestly, I'm not sure if any of them sounded as good as the tones coming from the Yamaha Broad Bass. The BB234 has got a much warmer and more defined tone coming out of the two pickups, and I feel like if I was using this in a band setting, the Yamaha would sit so much better in a mix. And it's worth mentioning as well that the Yamaha is made up of superb materials. Alder body, maple neck, and rosewood fretboard, that is a holy trinity of tried and tested tone woods. So it's another win for the Yamaha Broad Bass. Round four, value. As mentioned before, both of these bases are in a similar price bracket, where the Yamaha BB234 Broad Bass retails for $619 and the TMB 100 Talman Bass retails for $549 Aussie dollary dues. Both of these bases represent pretty good value for their price point and for the savvy shopper, you might even be able to get one of these on sale. Now, it's been really hard to pick which one is better value because the Yamaha is made of better materials, but it is more expensive as well. And I'm conflicted too because the Ibanez is cheaper but comes with that active EQ. So we could spend all day splitting hairs, but I'm gonna have to call this one a draw. Final round, looks. Yes, we are here at the final round, and yes, I love how both of these bases look. The lines on the Yamaha are just classic especially that headstock. It's certainly a more conservative look, but if you've been following the channel, you'd know how much I love natural finish bases, especially when they have a black scratch plate. It's one of my favorite color combinations and it's just awesome. And a special mention to the broad base because it has a matching headstock with the scratch plate. I think that looks great. Now, don't get me wrong, I love the look of the Talman base as well. and. I remember when I walked into the store and saw that base on the wall, I was pulled right in. And the staff of the store were divided about whether or not they loved or hated the look of the base. And initially, I was buying into the debate a little bit, but spending some time with this base, I truly love the color combination, the shape. I think it all looks really good. And on top of that too, I've not come across a base with this color combo, so it looks really unique. I'm a fan of the Talman shape in general, but when I'm putting it side by side with the Yamaha, I just can't go past the retro classic lines of the broad base, so it's gonna be a win for the Yamaha BB234 for this round. Okay, so for feel, I've chosen the Yamaha BB234 broad base because of that smooth, fast feeling neck. For versatility, it's a win for the Ibanez Talman bass because of that handy two band EQ. For sound, it's a win for the BB234 broad bass because of that warm defined tone. For value, it's a draw because both basses represent really good value in different ways. And finally for looks, I've chosen the Yamaha broad bass because of those classic retro lines. And there you have it folks, the winner of today's PJ shootout is the Yamaha BB234 broad bass and of course, everything we've spoken about today is purely subjective and you might love the look of the Talman and in that case, that could be your winner today. Anyway, thank you so much for coming with me to compare these two awesome bases. If you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And if you want to see weekly base related content, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. But until next week, keep on rocking and I'll see you next time.